Runner is circling at the start, it won't be too long now. Called in, that's it, they're off and racing. This is the Rathbury and Benview Studs and Brendan Murphy sponsored adjacent maiden. Leaving the starting area first is uh, Mikey O'Connor aboard Lorna Yates. First to lead the field along in the early stages on the way to the first of the 13 fences. Ira Leon Nococo is up there in second spot. Another one who is to the fore is the Shirokan. And they, in turn, are being followed by the horse in the white silks in fourth leading legend for Tom Ahern. Back then to find in fifth place is Bimo, who is in turn just ahead of the warm favourite. That's Master of the Sums in the emerald green jacket sitting midfield. After Master of the Sums then is Dying for a Gin. This horse racing for Chris O'Donovan and Joanna Walton. She had one previous run, which was in the north of England at Moss Houses last year. Making our Irish debut here is Dying for a Gin. And the two at the back of the field in the early stages are Kay's Light and also held up All Rise Malone. At number two, and the Shirokan up there with Lorna Yates. Ara Leon Nococo is also in the leading line. White Face in fourth is leading legend. Number three now of the 13. In just about Ira Leon Lococo for Tullock O'Connor. So Ira Leon Lococo in front. In second spot on the outside is the Shirokan. Down this inside is Lorna Yates and then leading legend followed by Master of the Sums who improves into a share of four with leading legend and then Bimo and the three at the back of the field in the two-tone blue silks. That's Kay's Light followed by All Rise Malone and Diane for a gin tracks wide on the outside at the tail of the field. They've taken the bend and now enter the back straight once again. Lorna Yates by half a length from Iron Leon the Coco. So Lorna Yates, Iron Leon the Coco as they rise at this one, followed in third place the Shirokan, then Master of the Sums is alongside leading lights. Then Bimo in the red jacket with the white hoops is followed three from the back of the field by Diane for a gin and then whipping them in are Kay's light and the other one at the back of the field there is All Rise Malone in the yellow and black quarter the silks. A mile has been covered and now they're taking fence number five in this adjacent maiden. Lorna Yates over in company there with Ara Leon Coco, followed by Master of the Sums. After these then back to the fourth place is uh, leading legend and the Shirokan and Bimo, followed by Dying for a Gin. So they tighten up once again with about 10 lengths top to tail as they move across the top section before they'll swing into the home straight once again. And with a small advantage, Mikey O'Connor aboard Lorna Yates from Ira Leon Nococo in second. The Shirokan in the black colours is in third place just ahead of Master of the Sums and Leading Legend. Back then to sixth place to find Bimo, followed by Dying for a Gin. Still at the back of the field are both All Rise Malone and Kay's Light. Away from fence number six and they're at halfway now in the adjacent maiden. Up the centre of the track, Ara Leon Lococo. Tight to the inside is Lorna Yates. They rise together at this next fence, followed out deep on the track there by the Shirokan, and deeper still is Diane for a gin, who's about sixth or seventh. So at the fence, six from home, and over this one they jump, and in the centre it is Turlock O'Connor and aboard Ira Leon Lococo. In company pass to judge this time with Lorna Yates. So Lorna Yates, Ira Leon Lococo. Up into third on the inside is your hot favourite master of the sums, followed by Kay's Light, who's made good headway over the last three or four furlongs for Luke 
Art Park to go into fourth, leading Legend is back to fifth, and then a couple of lengths in turn to the Shirokan, Bimo, and then Dian for a gin. We're just slipping through on the inside to pick up a few places towards midfield. There was Ross Sugru aboard All Rise Malone. At the fifth last fence, and Ira Leon Lococo is a neck in front as they take off of this one and comes away from the three parts of a length in front of Lorna Yates. Close up now in third is Kay's Light. Still nicely poised in fourth place, Master of the Sums, and a few lengths in turn to find the fifth and sixth place runners who are All Rise Malone, who's made steady headway to creep there into fifth, followed by Leading Legend, and then the Shirokan Bimo, and the back marker is now dying for a gin. Four out in the adjacent. And at this one, it's going to be... Just about on the inside, Lorna Yates with Ira Leone Lococo. They're one and two, but here coming up now onto their shoulders, a close third is Master of the Sums. Also improving is uh, Kay's Light, and getting to him with every stride is All Rise Malone. This group of five just going on from Diane Fridgin, who's beginning another one to pick up from the mid-pack there under Joanna Walton. Leading legend is next, out the back door to pair who have pulled up are the Shirokan and Bimo, but they turn for home and now it is Kay's Light and All Rise Malone. They are one and two from in third place. Keeping with them is Lorna Yates. Fourth weakening is Ira Leon Lococo. Tap for toe around the top end was the favourite master of the Suns who's now worked to do to get to them. Pulling up before the third last there was uh, Ira Leon Lococo and Leading Light. So the order with five left in the picture. Kay's Light up the outside. Man Master of the Sums is now mustering a, a charge on the inner for Maxine O'Sullivan. Still there, Lorna Yates in the centre, and all of a sudden, it's Master of the Sums. Sums has put on the afterburners and drawn to the front. It's Master of the Sums going clear from Lorna Yates, and then you've got uh, Kay's Light and All Rise Malone. But over the last goes Master of the Sums. A four at the last was Kay's Light, but Maxine O'Sullivan brings home Master of the Sums, Sums in the Sheehan colours, a poignant. Success for the Sheehan family as Master of the Sums scores. Second home in the end was Lorna Yates. Third was All Rise Malone, giving Eugenia Sullivan a 1-3. And last of four finishers in the contest was uh, Joanna Walton aboard uh, Diane for Gin. Maybe you are, maybe you're not. We'll see you back here next Sunday. The result of the sixth race, the Rat Ferry and Blendview Studs and Brendan Murphy sponsored five-year-old and upwards adjacent maiden. Six, 11, four from eight. Six, 11, four from eight. Presentation now taking place, ladies and gentlemen, to uh, the successful 
Uh, winning trainer there, Eugene O'Sullivan, uh, written, well written by his daughter Maxine there. Uh, master of the sums coming home there in impressive fashion, taking our final race here of the evening. The um, final race, the five-year-old mare's confined maiden and uh, Maxine O'Sullivan, the winning rider, and owned by Joe Sheehan. Big round of applause there for our winning connections. Best cheer of the evening there for our winning connections and, of course, a very, very important, our... Um, a, a local winner, nothing, nothing like a local winner here at Drumahan. Don't forget, of course, ladies and gentlemen, that we race here again on next Sunday. It's the big Donnerail meeting commencing at 2 o'clock. We'll have, a, we'll have a, uh, a word very shortly now with the winning connections. Joining me here, ladies and gentlemen, is the man of the moment, Eugene O'Sullivan. Eugene, you hadn't felt to travel for a nice winner. No, thanks be to God. He, he's a very, very nice horse. He was unlucky the first day um, below in Belly Cahan, and the last day he just unseated Maxine. But this is a very pointed moment because Liam Sheen was a great supporter of mine, and he bought this horse himself. And it's very, I'm delighted that all his family are here today to see it. Yeah, absolutely. And does, does, is this the only horse that Liam owns? Yes. Um, Joe has a good few horses, but Liam, this was Liam's horse, and John, his son. So, look, I'm delighted he won it. For, I'm, um, I'm glad that we were able to run it here today. And where is Liam from, uh, uh, Liam? Liam is from um, White Church. You can speak to Joe here now, he'll tell you more about it. And uh, joining me here is the winning owner, Joe. Uh, congratulations. Thank you very much. Did you train at one time? I did, I did. I, I remember it well. Train a lot of point to point winners and yeah. train in Listowel. We on the stall this year, so we had, that's what, uh, last year we won the Ladbroke Hurdle with uh, Magna Glory, you know, that's what Absol we did. Absolutely. That's Absolutely, well I was on the air so I didn't get, I, I didn't get time to, to talk to you. Yeah. So anyway, uh, it was nice to get this winner. Oh, bit, bit, bit emotional because it was my brother that bought him. Yeah. And unfortunately he died suddenly a couple of months ago. So oh my God, my, uh, my, my, my deepest sympathy. I didn't know that now, yeah? So um, that's the sad part of it. But Joe, coming back to yourself, how long did you train for? Because I remember in, in my yeah, early I days did, coming I, up I, here. I, I had great times in the 80s and that kind of thing. Right. We had a very good Mayor Sharabas and uh, yes. Martone's Chance. Uh, uh, Andrews Delight and oh, all those, yeah. all those yeah. Killarney and Trelly and yeah. all those places. So. And you, you had a, you had a lot of stable stars now in that time. I remember it well. I had, yeah, I had, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was third leading trainer in Mallow in '85 with three horses in training. You were joking <laughs> on the track. <laughs> on the track, yeah. And, and did you train many for the track at the time? No, I just a few. That's just, just a few for a lo few, few local people and that kind of thing. You know, I never got involved too much in it because I had other business as well. This way. Yeah, but you certainly made the, the headlines and the people knew I you were a, there. I had a very good man working for me at the time, Mick Riley. He was he was he was running the whole show. That's what he was. So yes. that was it. Okay. And, and when did you uh, uh, stop training then? Uh, before before you became an owner? Should I have been an owner on my life, but I didn't. Yeah, yeah. I was around 2000 or something like that. 2002, I think, we the last winner on Trelly or something. And tell me, the, uh, this, this winner here that, that we're looking at, yeah. uh, Master of the Sums, um, how did you acquire this Eugene one? Eugene Barnum in, in, in Doncaster, and he rang my brother to know if he'd be interested in him, and he said, right, we'll row in with it, and that was, that's how it happened. And, and, and the rest is history, yeah. and I suppose future plans, you don't know. Uh, <laughs> We'll be heading for Killarney for a horror race or something like that. <laughs> come here, come here, down, down, down to the good country in Killarney. You know where to come. Yeah. Well, Joe, many, many congratulations. A big round of applause there for Joe Sheehan, our winning owner. Congratulations. And John, John, well done. Congratulations and well done.